morning boys good morning everyone welcome back we're doing like a winter autumn winter morning routine and the hardest part this morning so far it's now 6 30 was getting the dogs out of bed and to come along with me they were not they weren't up for it today i'm up for it we've got the dentist coming as well this morning at eight <coughs> at eight i'm still not 100 percent well I do feel a little bit groggy still, but I'm rambling. Dill! Otis! They would not get out of bed this morning. They were not here for it. I had to carry them part of the way. Where are they? I don't know. This setup isn't ideal because I need to film my morning routine, but it's pitch black. You can't really see me getting the haylage. You can watch me muck out, I suppose. That'll be nice for you. Well, Dylan's already given up on the morning. He's going back to bed. Oh, yeah, there we go. Excuse the state of my tack room. I couldn't... It's just too full. Once the feed's been eaten down, I will sort things out a little bit, but for now, it's fine. Wait. Back. They've had their haylage and they're not going to get turned out this morning because the dentist is coming so that would just be stupid to put them out and then get them back in so they're going to stay in which means i'm going to muck out and put the beds right up so that they've just got no bedding on the floor because i don't like to waste too much bedding it's expensive let me show you my bed before i before i start we'll do a little before and after situation You can't really, it's so dark. But I bed my horses on wood pellets. Can you see? So I bed my horses on wood pellets. I've used everything else. I've used shavings, straw, the big flake bed max type shavings. And I would say that by far wood pellets are such a hit. I waste practically no bedding, which is probably the most important thing to me is how much bedding are you taking out because bedding's expensive you have to buy it in the first place and then if I'm wasting a lot of bedding that's wet or I can't separate it from the poo then it goes to my muck heap and once my muck heap gets too full I've got to pay for that to be taken away as well so double-edged sword the more bedding that I can save the happier I am and this I do find it's so absorbent and you can honestly I waste nothing. I could probably muck out two, if not three, stables using just one small wheelbarrow. In my shavings days, it was like a wheelbarrow and a half per horse because Billy isn't... He's not exactly a wet horse, but because he's so big, his wiggies are very large. Whereas McAllister is a much smaller horse and he is a wet horse. He must wee constantly i ought to ration his water really does anyone know how to stop a horse weeing so much let me know well you can't see a thing now what's that how's that for an angle you are balanced in billy's water look at that for wastage Thank you. Right. Uh, oh, no. 
no, that wasn't what I meant. I can't, the lighting conditions just aren't, they're not the one for filming this. So I'm gonna get Billy's stable done. I think the sun might come up today. If it does, and I can actually show you how I'm mucking out, I'll do that, but otherwise, I haven't got time for this, so I'm just going to get it done. That's really helpful. Thank you. That's not bad, is it, from Billy's stable, which is now done, if you can see that. And what do we have here? What are you doing? Good boy. Right, we'll do the other stables. Oh, Otis! Come out the stable. Otis! Oh, so we have a head torch situation. It was, I couldn't cope with the lack of light, so. Yeah. When I say McAllister is a really gross horse, this is what I mean. Why is he taking his haylage out of the hay barn, put it there? Why does he poo everywhere? And why does he wee constantly? Why? You don't make my life easy, do you, boy? Would you look at that? The sun is coming up. So I've mucked out Billy's stable and McAllister's stable. They're all eating their haylage. I need to do Mr. Jones's stable and fill up his water because he doesn't have a drinker in his. Because his stable isn't actually even a stable. What we decided to do was pallets and the age old golden item, baling twine. And he's so good, he stays in it. It wouldn't take an awful lot of him to break out, but he's a little delicate horse and he does quite well in there. So the front is just pallets and the door I just open one of the pallets and then the partition down the middle is also pallets. Can you see? DIY. What are you two doing? It's not as dark in here as it looks on camera. It's actually quite bright. But for some reason, as soon as I hit record, it just goes dark. wish it was. Let me show you how I do it. So there is a little, you can't really see me, but I'm not going to move the camera because I don't have time. There is a little clip, which is actually a sur single off a rug, which is the, the latch for the door. And I just clip that onto a bit of baling twine and then unclip it to open it. Da 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 da. And that ladies and gentlemen, is a fully functioning door. Mr. Jones is such a delicate little flower. He is so easy in the stable. He like poos off his bedding, does one little wee, and that's about it. So we do like Mr. Jones. I can't see a thing. I need my head torch. Obviously, because it isn't a real stable, there's no electric or running water in there. for a Saturday morning. So, I've got about 10 minutes before the farrier is going to get here. The farrier, the dentist. Teeth, not feet. Teeth, not feet. Um, so I'm gonna sweep the yard, which I try and do every morning because it just looks so much nicer. A swept yard just makes the difference. So, uh, the lighting today is not my friend. Boys, what are you doing? 
Are you tired? Dylan's not even looking at me. He says, nope. Nope. Oh, that's a big yawn for a little boy. I'm really hungry. I'm hungry. I am a morning person, which helps when you've got horses, doesn't it? I do my best work in the mornings, like mucking out stables and filling up water buckets. You know, all that really important stuff that takes a lot of, oh, you just slobbered in my, I washed my hair last night and now he's, oh, Jennifer, that's why you shouldn't cut with horses. Where's the hit? Nice to see you out of bed anyway. Okay, back to bed. Where's it gone? Now I was going to clean my bridles, I really was, but I did them the other day and actually I just thought I'd make myself a drink. Because I am under the weather and hot fluids are what I need, it's what I require at this time. So we're going to have a quick coffee whilst the dentist finds his way here. Probably lost somewhere. It'll be five in, well, January or something. Yeah. 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 Next, baby. Cool. Just doing a little gram, nothing to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making some avocado toast and then I'll go and ride. The dentist has just left and I'm freezing. I've been outside for hours. It's now 20 past 10. So I've been outside since half six and I'm just a bit cold. So a cup of tea and some toast is what the doctor ordered. Are you beautiful little boys? <laughs> Hello, the dentist has gone. Looking after your horse's She's got an itchy nose, sorry. Looking after your horse's teeth is quite important because obviously if their teeth fall out, they can't eat. So yearly checkups at least. Um it's been twelve months since I last had mine done. Everything was fine, they've got good teeth anyway. So that was all fine. Mr. Jones has a wolf tooth. Callister was losing some of his baby teeth still, and Billy was just a good boy, nothing to report there. Very good teeth. And they were enjoying my hipster stable. They said it was like being at the botanist. So, bespoke artisan stables. Hipster dipster. I did ask them if Billy was the most beautiful horse they'd ever seen, and they did say yes, so it's true. You're a beautiful boy. A beautiful boy who needs to do some exercise today. So I'm gonna ride. I might ride the ends first. I'll do a ride and lead situation. And then I might take Billy for a little canter on the stubble field. If you'd like to do that, my boy. And then I'm gonna go in and put the fire on. It's so autumn-y today. Not complaining, just an observation, that's all. Only positive vibes here, isn't it? 
<laughs> I'm gonna go. Bye.